All right, man, for the Christmas special, uh, you know what I'm saying, for the channel. Uh, we're about to start lagging, man. Let me switch to scene two. Uh, we're about to watch Elite Cameraman. Uh, you know, he's announced episode 69. As we're watching this, it's actually going to become Christmas, which I think is super funny. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas. Make sure you type Merry Christmas right now because it's literally going to be Christmas by the time we finish this reaction. But I'm spending my, my first moments of Christmas with Elite Cameraman. Go figure. Um, <laughs> but let's, uh, let's get straight into the reaction, bro. Let's go. The Almighty episode 69. Yes, sir. 69 was good too. Arrived, it was a good episode. And it looks it was a great like the stakes keep on rising because at the end of today's all the time, episode, all the time is rising. We saw that heroes have to make some hard choices and sacrifices for the greater good. Indeed. But this was not all because it seems like there was an important time skip between episode 68 and episode 69, part one. There was a time and skip. Wherever the squad is, the further they go, the worse it gets. My thing I is, I know that this isn't a mountain, but how big? is this base bro like they go in room after room after room and they're not even nowhere near close to where um uh 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 to where the scientist is i don't think hold on let me just make sure that everything is good with my uh my recording because i don't want to have to re-record you know i do my reactions live and whatnot but yeah it's super interesting you mentioned that this place might have been the bottom floor of the toilet bunker in my last analysis and if we look at the description of the new episode de Fuch seems to confirm this with what we saw in today's episode, I think the squad is trying to either hunt down the scientist's toilet yeah. or is trying to find the core of this bunker. Okay. There also was the leak that I think out. it would be smarter to cripple the 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 scientist or not even a scientist, the scientist, the skibidi faction by just killing the scientists. Like they gotta come out of here. Like if Plunger Man or Speaker Man gotta sacrifice, like they're willing to do sacrifices, or at least like um for the grunts. So they need to get the job done regardless, no matter how you see days it. ago, which gave a small hint on what's going on. Because nobody else is in and there, Titans can't fit in there, bro. This is where yeah. Which actually is a song from the soundtrack of Half-Life 2. Interesting. Even though this is the case, I think the name itself was a hint at what might be going on. But before we get into all this, you need to make sure that you like the video. And I also mentioned that only 29% of you guys were subscribed. This hey, I'm meant subscribed. This more than 71% of you weren't subscribed. It's and crazy that 29% of the people who watch his videos equates up to like 1 million subscribers. So if the other people subscribe, he'd probably be up to like 4 or 5 mil. It's famous, bro. I'll be telling you, these famous people, I can't do it. Day, I don't know how they do it, bro. To only 69% of wow. you not being subscribed. If you want to help get to 69% before episode 69 fully ends, make sure to subscribe. We can probably Word. Me get too. Make sure y'all sub up. Or in the sub up for the get a reaction, man. Sub up for the get a reaction. 69 part two analysis. Anyways, here we go. Episode 69 part one literally starts with a jump scare and sets the tone instantly. A strider-like small toilet attacks us, and this mm. toilet actually is a reference to Valve, who made the Half-Life games. We can shout out Valve, shout out Steam. Stuck on his eye, just like how the company Valve used to have something very similar. Oh, I never and knew once that. Once again, we are in the POV of Plunger Cameraman, but because of what we are about to see, it's clear that a decent bit of time has passed, and Plunger Cameraman seems to have gotten. Yes, yeah, because of the weapons. Yeah, right. And why, why did he skip all of that? I would like to see how he got his weapons, like how he got his bag that deep jump scare he first punches this toilet with his right hand and the valve toilet stabs plunger cameraman's left hand but this doesn't stop plunger cameraman because he actually reveals his first upgrade slowly four little blades come out of his right hand and he nice. seems like a mini wolverine but that's not literally all, because right after he knocks the valve toilet back he pulls his plunger and something is clearly that's a good different. move taking the spike through it the now hand has spikes all over it making it an extremely destructive weapon that it's boy good is a to finally fighter. see the plunger cameraman being able to use his plunger a lot better now that it has some upgrades. He swings the plunger so hard that the valve toilet hits the wall, and instead of flushing the toilet normally with his plunger, he just he destroyed it, it into yeah. his face. But alongside that, we actually saw something weird just now. If you look at the ground when plunger cameraman knocks the valve toilet so into the wall, are, yeah, skull. we can actually see a human skeleton, yes. A real human skeleton, and these skeletons are actually scattered around the That's whole. That's a human. Room. Oh, I think this actually yeah, might be okay. one of the biggest hints we have gotten about okay, the origin yeah. of the Skibidi toilets. So they because are if there are actual humans. human bodies here, this probably means that the toilets weren't the ones who made this place. Alongside that, one of the skeletons actually has a lab coat, and I think you know where I'm getting at. Okay. I don't know if this is the direction Dafuk is going, but there is a really good chance that the toilets actually were the results of some research and lab trials that went wrong. We can't really know what exactly happened if this is the but case. But how would they get this maybe powerful? Maybe these scientists you know what I'm saying? were doing some experiments and created the toilets. 
As a result, the toilets went rouge and started spreading. And like so, a I mean, because even if you take this, this route, makes me think of what this like e e even if you take this route, right? If you take this route, then you you just got to say to yourself, well, then did these other factions exist before the Skibidi toilets? So were TV people, all of those? Did those people live among humans? You know what I mean? It's I tell you right now, Skibidi ain't ending no time soon if this is the route we take it, bro. Because it's a lot of questions that need to be answered. If if it's all that, Agent wants. If this experiment theory is true, I think there are two possibilities about the secret agent that might also be true. There is a possibility that the secret agent is trying to search for the truth of the toilet's origin, or maybe he also used to be a scientist at this facility, maybe. and he might be trying to fix his old He's mistake. definitely fighting for the humans. We already know that he is a very smart individual because the gadgets he has are no joke, and he has abilities that suppresses normal humans. I'm sure that we'll get to know more about this topic in the next couple episodes because Probably. that seems to be the way we are going right now. After Plunger Cameraman kills the Valve Toilet, we also see the Dark Speaker Man going ham on all the toilets, and it seems like this place is filled with Parasite Toilets, but the squad is too good to get infected. I mean, they we got actually see Dark two of the main Speaker guys. Man almost getting infected, but he removes the Parasite Toilet instantly and uses his speakers on him right before smashing into the ground. This does make me wonder if he has an anti-parasitic body because at this point I think every And I also didn't know little agents. Yeah, I didn't know little agents to get affected. After this we turn to the only right for side and a crazy scene awaits us. This scene actually Oh, I'm stupid. Well, no, it's well, it's just because the the parasites right here are way bigger than like the littler parasites that I'm used to. Or maybe I'm tripping, I don't know. Leaked frame from couple of I know days I know they can get affected. But I'm not going to lie, are I could have never parasites. guessed what was happening there on the right bottom side. Bruh. What the hell are those two cameraman doing? If what? You know, Yo! You know, but this is clearly Da Fuchs' way of saying this is Six episode nine. 69. Yeah. yeah. In this scene, we That's, see the lucky okay. cameraman wow. standing on top of a parasite toilet Interesting. looking at his tablet I'd even to see show that. us the way. That is, wow. And there I'm also is a full squad literally about to back out this chair toilet. is what I'm about I to do. I think this clearly shows that the cameraman and speaker man at the back don't understand how serious this situation is. And we all know that it costs. Yeah, them that's their another life. thing. Why is everybody playing around inside of the base like this isn't the final boss level or at least somewhere near it? Like we're literally in the base of the people. All right. All right. The episode. The only ones that seem to understand how bad this situation is. The speaker man leaning on the wall. Lucky cameraman. Dark speaker man and plunger cameraman. But whatever we saw until this point is literally nothing because once we turn back to Dark Speaker Man, we get the first glimpse of what we are about to see. At the beginning of the episode, we saw that there yeah, were locked look doors oh. on this hallway. But when we are looking at the Dark Speaker Man, we see two toilets looking very scared from the inside of the locked room. After this, we slowly start walking through Yo, the that's crazy as fuck. <laughs> Alright, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I apologize. I, I got scared. Look, I'm going to turn the camera. Yo, Andrew! <laughs> yo, he scared me through the mirror. That is crazy. That's so, yo. That just, oh my God, my heart. My heart. Yo, that's a jump scare. That's a jump scare. Wow. I ain't been that scared in a minute. That was great. That was great. All right, let's continue. Let's continue the reaction. Let me make sure everything good, though, because I don't have my dual monitor. So I got to make sure. All right, let's continue. And the first right, thing it. we see is a toilet that burning eternally inside the door. I think we can agree that he probably is one of the beings inside the whole Skibidi universe that has endured the most pain if he has been burning like this ever since he was created. After this plunger cameraman looks to the right side and we see a big headed toilet staring into the hallway. Right. This probably is a reference to something or means something, but I have no idea what it is. If you do make sure to comment it down below, a second later we see the lucky cameraman going ahead of us with his tablet still in his hands to open the door. And we actually see one more human skeleton here, but that's not the only skeleton we see because plunger cameraman turns to his left, and the last locked room we see actually has skull toilets just like the berserk skeleton meme. After True. The plunger cameraman I, I don't know if it's the berserk skeleton, but that, that's a pretty random reference to just make. Him and it's kind of funny. The speaker man dancing while walking through the corridor, and not gonna lie. Why are the they dancing? Like, why are y'all right dancing? Here. And once we turn back, nah, it, it was smacking. We are it had me in the little shoulder. Room. If you watch the reaction, if you know, you, you continue, know. I want to let you know about the Roblox game I've been cooking up for a while. 
What? Like and Skibidi Toilet. He got a I game. I to launch the game sometime in the next two weeks. So if oh, you wow. don't want to miss it, make sure to join my group on Roblox oh, wow. after you finish watching the analysis. That's amazing. Anyways, let's continue. Yo, yo, Elite Cameraman, let me get, make sure I got admin in that. Let's get, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a DM you, I'm a DM you. Plunger Cameraman enters the room. He looks to his left and his right to see what's inside. And we can actually see so much blood and a decent bit of toilet bodies scattered around the place. There clearly have been fights here, but we have no idea what caused the fights or who fought the toilets. Seconds later, a cameraman head gets thrown next to us, which leads Plunger Cameraman to turn back and we see a mutant toilet coming out of Yeah, nowhere. that mutant toilet he looks jumps insane. Down from the He's... Upper floor and literally They're going to be threats the in the future, like, like really bad, like really big threats. In episode 66. We can clearly see that he is different from an ad. This is your garbage trash browser, and this is Opera GX. Bro, don't tell me what my browser <laughs> looked like, dude. <laughs> different front he other two mutant toilets and he looks a lot more crazier compared to the other two for some reason i know that the other two mutant toilets are not that normal either but this guy just they got really big heads vibe, and he also has a and metal yeah his head is like very strong normal and most likely capable of great amounts of strength after beheading the cameraman in front of him the cameraman behind him actually tried to use the stun gun on and him, it did it work like it slowed it him down a little bit it did it did other than the fact that blood was screaming with nah, blood it slowed him down a little mouth. bit he tries to slash the plunger because cameraman i think when mouth. he's slashing him he probably reaches him usually but he's not able to reach it because the gun that shot him slowed him down just a little bit not too much but just enough for him for a cameraman to not uh get touched or plunger but i'm assuming that the stun gun is at least doing some effect because the mutant toilet can't reach to plunger oh cameraman. it's 12 o'clock man merry christmas everybody you know what i'm saying come here come here everybody you know it is merry it is christmas uh if you're watching the reaction i just want to say i appreciate all y'all um y'all changing my life and y'all been changing my life shout out ski bd shout out boom shout out lee care man shout out everybody that show love shout out koofy um i'll probably give like a whole nother video just a little 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 merry christmas but uh mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i gotta get this work in um but let me finish out finish out this video real quick uh, for y'all boys, uh, let's get it. I'm and plunger cameraman hits him with the spiky plunger twice once he gets back a little. Yeah, but this doesn't stop the mutant toilet from holding the plunger cameraman's head and screaming into him. But thankfully, the dark speaker man arrives in time and he stabs the mutant toilet with his two knives right before the mutant toilet throws him away. And right at this scene, we can also see another human skeleton on the right side. Yeah, interesting. And maybe the blood and the toilet bodies in this room are left over from the first days of the toilets being made. Wow. And fighting against the human scientists. Right after, Plunger Cameraman throws his plunger into the mutant toilet's head, completely destroying his head and killing him. Right after the mutant toilet dies, the alarms start going off and we actually see the locked doors opening while other toilets start coming from the hallway and we actually see some weird mutant toilets coming as well. But it does seem like they are some failed mutant toilets because they are acting a little more stupid compared to normal. While this is going on, the lucky cameraman actually uses the remote he has to close the door to save everyone. But as we already know, this won't really work. Once we turn back, we see that the lucky cameraman so creepy, has bro. Look at all doors that already creepy. and is waiting for us. Even Everyone the Michael Jackson toilet was interesting. And we see a huge Super toilet interesting. that has a similar set of head equipment to vacuum toilet tries to come out. But the craziest thing happens, and we actually see the Michael Jackson toilet arrive at the yeah, scene. That, the, right the Michael Jackson was like, scooby dee <laughs> Thanks to this, the speaker man start dancing. But this sadly was the stupidest thing they could have done. Like, why would... Because literally seconds later, after they start dancing, the Michael Jackson toilet explodes the locked door. Yeah, that is And we get a bad good glimpse move. of him for a second. And he really is upgraded a lot because he has anything ranging from buzz saws and claws. But that's not the most important thing because the way he sounds is so freaking annoying and it would make me go crazy if I was in the squad there. The cameraman really start rushing as fast as they can to escape from the Michael Jackson toilet, but there are two cameramen who didn't make it in yet and are far behind. We also see a small detail on the boxes and it says 150686 on it, but I have no idea if this means anything. We Maybe. have been seeing more and more small details as text in these episodes, so I wanted to mention it. The dark speaker man literally takes the remote from the hands of the w. lucky cameraman because he wasn't closing the yeah, door. Yeah, he wasn't going to make it. And it it's crazy door, how, though. bro, how quickly Michael Jackson and filled that gap. It is crazy, bro. It's crazy. I'm glad he closed the door. You know what I'm saying? Whatever sacrifices had to be made, it's sad. But, man, 
Nobody could have predicted he was going to close the gap. Because if it was up to me, I'm going to say no way he closed that gap and leave the door open. So good call by Dark Speaker, man. Whether he got punched on or not, it was a good call, bro. It was a great, was a says, great call. With his hands, this leads the two cameramen to die. But this was a good decision by Dark Speaker Man because if he didn't take the matter to his own hands, everyone would have died. This really shows us that sometimes heroes have to sacrifice for the greater good. Yeah. It also seems like this door that they closed is stronger because the Michael Jackson toilet doesn't even try to destroy it. Plunger Cameraman slowly starts walking toward the Dark Speaker Man, and we can actually see Dark Speaker Man reflecting on his actions. But with his anger, Plunger Cameraman pushes the Dark Speaker Man and actually punches him twice right before punching a hole in the wall. Bro, not gonna lie, if Plunger Cameraman ever tries going for TV Woman, I'm out. Blood <laughs> literally sees red. Plunger Cameraman looks outside of the glass door, and we see many toilets alongside the Michael Jackson toilet, and Plunger Cameraman does his signature move once more and flips you. off all of them right before <laughs> turning back and moving with the squad. Job must go it on. Only five like people only left, five too. It's crazy. Left. And I think we can safely assume that only Lucky Cameraman, Dark Speaker Man, and the Plunger, and Plunger Cameraman are make it all the way to will the be end. left alive Probably. after next episode. Or maybe somebody else will take up the Plunger Mantle. We see a huge hallway with yellow smoke or light at the end, and there is also another bunker door on the right. We'll see where they'll go in the next episode. This episode really was crazy, and I'm so curious as to what will happen in the next part. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Right, man, that also, was... join my group on Roblox. Yeah, the, the Roblox. We definitely going to check out the Roblox on the Gaming Channel, so make sure you guys are tuned into the Gaming Channel. Thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys, thank you guys for again, especially if you got this far. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Uh, I wanted to get these videos out for y'all because I ain't uploading a little bit, and I forgot to upload some other videos I got. So, uh, thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one. And, um, yeah, bro, stay cozy. Peace out, man.